Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I'm back. I was tagged in the 20 questions of what do you call it by Karen Pruden. There's some background noises. It's Thing who's cooking dinner and I am rugged up like it's frosty here in the tropics because it is quite cool. I broke out the campfire cardigan. The 20 questions for what do you call it have been a lot of fun. I had a big laugh at Madonna Ballard's and Karen's cracked me up and when I was tagged I thought why not? Why don't I answer the 20 questions and what they mean down under? So here we go. What do you call it down under? Cooking food on an outside grill. Well, we're having a barbie. We're going out for a barbie, which is short for barbecue. Australians are great at shortening names. Carbonated beverage. It's a soft drink because there's no alcohol in it, so we call it soft drink. Three, the thing you push your groceries around in. A shopping trolley or trolley. Just grab the trolley. Four, bugs that light up the night. We don't have them here in the tropics, but where I used to live years ago, we had them and we called them fireflies. P-E-C-A-N, pecan, pecan pie, pecan nuts, they're pecans. Last piece of bread at the end of the loaf. It's called a crust. And my mother used to say, eat your crust, makes your hair go curly. That's why I have curly hair. I blame her. C-A-R-M-E-L, caramel, that's how we pronounce it, caramel. I love caramel chocolate, caramel biscuits. My favourite is salted caramel. I love it. Athletic footwear, it's your joggers. Grab your joggers. You know, for a walk, put your joggers on. You don't have to play sport to put your joggers on. You don't have to jog to put your joggers on. Little lobster looking creatures in freshwater streams. Well, depends on where you live in Australia. There are th over 300 species of freshwater crustacean lobster type creatures in Australia. In WA, where I used to live, the larger ones are called marin and the smaller ones are called juggies. When Thing and I were first engaged, we used to go down to his friend's place, which is a dairy farm down south of Perth. In WA and stay there and we would go out at night and catch marin in nets. We would have a campfire, some drinks, some music, chatting and they'd cook up on the campfire when we caught them. Marin have now become a delicacy in restaurants and they're quite expensive but the little ones were called juggies. If you live on the east coast the little ones are called yabbies. Water tap inside or outside it's just the tap Turn on the tap. Liquid that makes your car go. Well, some say I'm fueling up the car, I'm going to get fuel, and some say I'm going to get petrol. But generally in this house we say fuel. I've got to fuel up the car. Space in the back of your car. This is where Madonna really cracked me up. It's called the boot. You put your shopping in the boot. Or as Madonna said, it's where you put the bodies. <laughs> Lights that regulate traffic. Well, they're just good old traffic lights. Place you buy alcohol. The bottle shop. Just going to duck down the bottle shop. Things you, The thing you use to, what, to switch your TV on and off. Remote control. The place where you go to get your medicine. Well, we say chemist. Some people say pharmacy, but you're just going to the chemist. Breakfast that you eat with syrup. This is not something we do a lot, maybe once a year, and it's pancakes with maple syrup, and Reeves has to have bacon on the side. The thing that gives you information about streets and roads. Well, before Google Maps, we used to carry street directories around in our car for our area, little maps of suburbs with the streets in them. The machine you get your money from. The hole in the wall. It's an ATM, but generally referred to as the hole in the wall. Sweet on a stick. Well, this can be an ice cream. Or when I got my COVID vaccine, they gave us what they call chuppa chup lollies because you had to wait um, 15 minutes, little lollipops, 
to see if you had a reaction. And I worked out by the time you finished your chubba chub, sucking it down, it was 15 minutes and you could, the nurse would tell you you could go because you hadn't had a reaction. So that's my 20 questions from Down Under. I hope there's nothing lost in translation. I can't really think of many people to tag. A lot of people have done it. But I thought I would tag Trish the Knitting Lady. She always makes me laugh and I'm sure she'll have some funny little stories with what she calls things. And if you like, you can be tagged. I'll leave all the list of the 20 questions in the description below. Maybe just answer a few in the comments and tell me what you think of our Australian vernacular, I guess. Thank you, Karen, for tagging me. This has been fun. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and don't forget, have one crafty day. Bye for now.